There are tons of coping mechanisms, apps, and strategies to help you deal with anxiety, but what does the Bible have to say about it? Today, I'm gonna to be giving you four scriptures that help me manage my anxiety right after this. Hi everybody, my name is Shayla and I believe that hiding is overrated. So I am documenting my parenting journey here on YouTube. And my desire for this is that as I document the things that I go through, I can help to normalize some of, of the challenges and the experiences that moms go through on the daily. So in the last few videos, I've been talking about anxiety, um, just the signs of anxiety, what it is, some coping mechanisms. So I'll link all those in the description for you if you wanna check those out. But most of all, we need to talk about scripture. People always ask me how I'm able to uh, be a mom of four and homeschool and have a business and co-pastor a church and we got all these other things going on. And my answer is always the same. It's one day at a time. For a lot of us, I think it's very easy to look at scripture as just something that uh, we read or something that we quote when something goes wrong in our life. Um, but for me, it's much more than that. Uh, the Bible is the heart of God and it shows me plain text who Jesus is. And Jesus is not, you know, some sort of add on. He is my life. So yes, while there are things that we can do uh, for ourselves to help maintain, you know, our mental health and, you know, cope with things that we're going through, we must first place our hope and our trust in Jesus and know that he is right there alongside us as we walk this journey. Let's take a look at the first scripture, John 14, one. It says, do not let your heart be troubled, trust in God and also trust in me. As we put our trust in God and the working power of Jesus, his comfort begins to manifest in our lives. So as we're doing those coping exercises, we should be putting our mind on God and him doing the work for us. Psalm 94, 19 says, when anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Now, earlier this week, Abigail got hit in the face with a rock. She's my, my two year old. Uh, she almost, she got hit in the face with a rock and all she wanted was me. She screamed and cried or whatever and all she wanted was for me to hug her. And that's kind of how I look at the relationship between us and God. You know, especially when we're uh, experiencing anxiety and worry and um, the bad things in our life, we just need uh, God to kind of give us that hug, you know? The Bible says that the Spirit of Christ is our comforter. In the same way that I was there for Abigail when all she wanted was that hug, it's the same way that the Spirit of Christ wants to be there for us and to console us and to bring us joy because that helps us to know that we don't have to suffer because Jesus already did. Let's look at the next scripture, Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we talk to God and give our worries to him, his peace begins to overtake us. It helps to guard our hearts and our minds over those anxious feelings. And the last scripture for you, 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you all. This is a prayer that I pray often, that I would have the peace of God at all times and in every way. And you know, even when those anxious feelings start to rise up within me, I am reminded, no, I have the peace of God in this area. I hope these passages of scripture have helped you just as much as they helped me. And there are tons more in the Bible, so don't be afraid to do some searching on your own. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, hiding is overrated. I'll see you next time.